Hello, welcome to lesson 50. Link you in C Sharp brought to you by Angular Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn Link you and what is the advantage or purpose of using Link you. Okay, right now we'll understand what is Link you. Here you can observe L I N Q. It stands for Language Integrated Query. Totally, we call it as Link you. It stands for Language Integrated Query. And Link you is a structured query syntax built in C-Sharp and VB.NET used to save and retrieve data from different types of data resources like an object collection, SQL server, database, XML, web service, etc. I think you guys or all, all, all of you are aware with uh, SQL server database. There what we'll do is if you want to create a table, we'll write a command. If you want to uh, retrieve some data, we'll write a command. So in order to do that, what we are doing there in SQL Server database, we are writing commands every time. But uh, what is Link you then? Link you is a structured query syntax which is built in uh, C Sharp and VB.NET where you can query query your database and get a set of records by writing this Link you. By writing this Link you means writing this query. Okay, and that's what the difference between SQL and the Link you. Uh, and Link you syntaxes are written using the C# -sharp code or a VB.NET code. But when we come for SQL uh, Server database, there we have a set of SQL commands itself to do that work. But the advantage of Link you is here we are using normal programming language that is C# -sharp or VB.NET to fetch data from the database. This is what about Link you is. And Link you always work with the objects. It means like. Uh, whatever the code you write using C-Sharp or VB.NET, that code is enough uh, to fetch data from the multiple data resources uh, like object collection, SQL Server database, XML, etc. This is what the Link you always, uh, it works with the objects. Okay, This is what we learned about Link you and uh, um, here is the clear cut picture of what a Link you is and why a developer uses Link you. Developer uses Link you, why? to query these data resources. The data resources like object collection, ADO.NET dataset, XML document, entity framework, SQL database and other data structures and Link you provides uh, ability uh, to query all these data resources by just writing a uh, uh, query syntax using a C-sharp language or a VB.NET. This is what about Link you is. Okay. Now our next objective is why Link you? What is the purpose of using Link you? Before Link you come into existence, that is before C# 2.0 version, we had to use a for each or a for loop to traverse the collection to find a particular object. It means that I'm having a list of students. In order to find uh, the fifth student in the list, what I have to do is I have to use for each loop or for loop to iterate that loop. Then I have to get that particular ID of phi but this was consuming more time or the code was very bulky. Now what we'll do is we'll just see a demo of how to find a particular object using for each loop or for loop. Now we'll jump into Visual Studio and this is my piece of code what is consist of class student and the main program. Now what we'll do is without which now what we'll do is without uh, wasting much of the time, uh, we'll see how to find a particular object using for each loop and for loop. Uh, to do that, what I'll do, I'm having a Visual Studio. Then I'm already having a piece of code ready for that. What I'll do, I'll just open that piece of code then I'll copy and paste. What I'll do, first I'll copy this class student to my Visual Studio. Uh, to this program, I'm copying a class. Then I'm having a student array. Uh, then I'll come and I'll paste it in my main program. Okay. Now before uh, uh, running this program, let's understand the parts of uh, parts of this program. You can observe in this uh, program we have two classes. One is class students, which I have defined, and the class consists of properties like student ID, student name, and age. And coming to the main program, it consists of the main method. And here I'm creating an array of students, and I'm also having predefined values stored like uh, seven students uh, ID and uh, name and age is stored here and what what is my intention I want to find the age of students uh, the name of the students whose age is between 12 and 20 so how do I do that I have to call that std object then I have to find the student name now when I run this program you can observe it prints uh, the name of the students whose age is between uh, uh, 12 to 20 my and this file is being scanned let's wait for that once it is done you can observe 
it has given John, Chris and Rob because their ages are between 12 and 20. Let's see here. Let's verify. Yes, John is 18, Chris is 17 and Rob is 19. Exactly the output what we got is expected. But the thing we have to observe here is now if I want to find the age between 12 and 20, what I was doing is I was using for each loop every time uh, to find the particular uh, element in that list and uh, coming back to presentation here you can observe use for use of for loop or for each loop is not that good or QSM it's uh, not that maintainable and readable so Microsoft uh, came up with the C, C sharp 2.2 version 2.0 version and later in that version they introduced uh, an interesting topic called delegate and which can be used to handle this kind of scenario now let us see how to find a particular element in the list uh, using a delegate now in order to do that I'm having a piece of code ready ready for that also first I have to create my delegate and uh, here is my visual studio uh, what I'll do I just added a delegate and a class extension now uh, I have to delete this part because I'm dealing with the delegates now I have to write a delegate syntax or a delegate uh, okay okay now what we'll do is we'll examine this class first as usual the classes okay I'm having three classes here one class is student and other class is student extension and also the main program now let us examine this class student it consists of three properties ID name and age and we have initialized a delegate delegate name is find student and it's going to return true or false and we are passing student itself as a parameter here okay and I'm having a class extension this class extension is having an array and we are keep in mind we are we are passing the delegate itself as a parameter and instead the object is del, del, del is the object of this delegate and we are passing student array as a parameter to this student and what I'm doing and I'm initializing an array and this array can hold up to 10 objects now what is my intention is in my main program what I have to do here in this main program I'm having a set of students in this set of students I want to find the age of name of the students whose age is between 12 and 20 then how do I write a uh, delegate in delegate uh, uh, using delegate how do I find it it's very simple I'm having array of students then I'm calling that student extension class where it takes the parameter like student array and the delegate uh, parameter and it will return the age of the students or the name of the students whose age is between 12 and 20 now when I come here and uh, try to print uh, student name it obviously has to print the name of the three students that is John Chris and Rob this is what this is what we learned how to use delegates to query means to get a particular element from a list and later jumping back into presentation you can observe but still the C sharp team or Microsoft felt that they need to make this code even more compact and readable so what did they do in the C sharp 3.0 version they introduced the extension method lambda expression expression tree and anonymous method anonymous type and query expression that is link you in C sharp 3.0 to improve the overcoming of uh, for loop and for each loop and the delegate to overcome they introduced link you concept okay you can use all of the above features like extension method lambda expression expression tree in the uh, they are the building blocks for link you to query to different types of collection and get the result elements in a single statement this is what link you does it will make help of all the extension method lambda expression expression tree anonymous type it will make help of those and it will try to get the result in a single statement this is what about link you is and we have an example for that also here we can observe we have a student list and these are the link link you statements to find uh, first link you is to find teenager students which means the age between 12 and 20 and to find first student whose name is Bill and who who, to find the student whose ID is Phi but as of now we'll see only the first one what we'll do we'll jump into I'm having a piece of code for that what I'll do I'll just copy this control C and I'll come back to my Visual Studio and I'll remove all those unwanted things this delegate till extension method I'll just delete that and I'll just replace this with my link query 
okay you can observe this is very simple see how this link you uh, program looks it's very easy to understand it's not that compact like I'm having a class having a three properties ID name and age and I'm having uh, initialize the list I'm having seven students but uh, in that seven students I'm able to I'm trying to find the name of the person or the student whose name whose age is between 12 and 20 it means I'm, I'm trying to find the name of the persons who are teenagers so what I'm doing I'm writing like I'm taking this array and I'm using where this where is a operator like uh, it's a clause we call as clause in link you operator using this operator what we are doing is we are telling that the list give me a list of student whose age is between 12 and 20 and in the form of array now what I have to do is I have to come here I have to use for each loop to just uh, print the number of students and the return type of this is student and the item name I'll give it as std and the collection is teenager students console dot right line I have to pass std dot uh, student name I want to find the name of the student who are teenagers now when I run this program obviously it has to give uh, John Chris and Rob as we saw in the previous two demos using for each loop and the delegate but uh, keep in mind in the last two demos uh, the code was bit complicated and it was not it was not that compact but uh, coming to link statements it is giving us output or the result in just a single line of query this is what the powerfulness of the link you and that's what we learned here in this session we just learned uh, how, what is the purpose of using link you but uh, in the coming session we learn what is link you operator what are the link you syntax there are two types of syntax namely method syntax and query syntax we'll see them in the coming session and also we'll see the standard query operators which we use to query the list okay this is what about this session deals with uh, what is link you and what is the purpose of link you in the coming session we will learn the link you concept completely and right now thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankro training below